Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Action Comics number 97, The Magician's Convention. This is the third outing for Hocus and Pocus, aka Doc and Fennelhead. Or should I have said that the other way around? Their real names are Doc and Fennelhead. No, those don't sound like real names, but that's apparently what their real names are. If you haven't been watching this series, or have read the Golden Age Superman stories, Hocus and Pocus are two simpletons who, through coincidence and Superman's meddling, think they actually have magical powers. They do not. Well, Doc thinks he has magical powers. He just says, like, Alakazam combined with a few other words, and something happens. Usually Superman's intervention, which makes him think he has magical powers. And they sort of solve crimes mostly by Superman throwing them at criminals and then using them as a distraction or just kind of playing with the criminals. Anyway, it feels like Superman's trying to get them killed. Back at the Daily Planet, Lois and Clark hear about Magician's Convention, which has a contest for the best magic trick. The winner gets $25,000, and Clark thinks immediately this seems like a job for Hocus and Pocus for some reason. Uh, he flies and takes them so fast that he's invisible. This is, this is like default for these stories. You should always assume Superman is moving so fast that he's invisible, so Hocus and Pocus are none the wiser, and takes them to the Magician's Convention. There, one of the magicians says one of his tricks had been stolen, and Doc and Fennelhead help him recover the information to this. I don't know how exactly it was stolen, but this is all actually a ploy for him to steal the $25,000 and abscond with it. But before he can do that, of course, Superman and Hocus and Pocus see through this, and through the fake magic of Superman, are able to stop him. And then Superman does a trick for them, so they end up winning the $25,000. So let me get this straight, and this is not the first time a Superman story has basically said this. There are rules and you shouldn't be cheating. That's a bad thing to do, unless you're Superman, and then rules don't apply to you because you're a Superman? Like, once again, this is a story where it essentially says cheating is bad unless you're Superman. Only Superman can cheat. I know these stories weren't supposed to have a moral, but... I can't help reading that into stories where Superman's really big against cheating, but to stop it, he ends up cheating even worse than the cheaters. It's, it's insane. <laughs> they don't think these stories through very well because, well, they wrote them in two days, sometimes even faster, sometimes a little longer, but usually pretty quickly to turn these out, especially the fact that we're getting like four to five Superman stories a month if you count the four stories in a Superman comic. Though, somehow I still have fun with these, mostly because, like, it's not a good story, but it's fun to talk about how insane it is. Okay, that is it from Action Comics number 97, The Magician's Convention. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? And seriously, why did he take them here? There was no point to it. Does he want them to make money? He can have them make money by putting on a show. Well, having them put on a show and then him showing up. I mean, he's already going through all of this. Okay, have a great day.